omelets. And this omelet is a traditional omelet, but it's going to have a couple little difference. They're going to be using some micro greens, more specifically the broccoli type, which you can go to the link in my description for more information where to get those babies. And I'm also going to uh, use some goat cheese. And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. Here comes my omelet. And the one of the stores, aside from the eggs, is going to be the macro greens and I'm going with broccoli. Look at this beauty, huh? I'm going to show you how to do this. Go to a link in my description where to get these. Uh, Micro greens, I purchased these uh, from small business, highly recommended. I said you're going to need about maybe three to four eggs. It's a medium size. I'm going to use ham. And this one I just cut into tiny pieces. I have some green bell pepper, chop chop. I want some people like the red. Uh, Bell pepper, one with the yellow, you can use orange. It depends on how sweet you want it. Onions, chop chop. Uh, I'm going to use some sea salt. I'm using the flaky type that you can smash into smaller size. You can use any type of cheese, but I'm going with the gold cheese. And they're going to be crumbles, because I'm going to show you what you're going to do with this. You're going to need butter. I'm going with the ghee because it's clarified butter i want it clean and clear so let's jump on this huh what do you think so i have a little pan and what i'm going to do is preheating medium high i'm going to put about this spoon of the actual butter You're going to let it melt. Now that it's melt, what you're going to do, you're going to add your onions. Doesn't matter the amount. See? You use what you need. Add your peppers. And you're going to add your ham. You want to cook these babies. We're going to take you a few minutes. See how beautiful. Don't forget to add a little salt. And I like adding the salt now. Bring the taste of the salt with this. Say so you cook it for about somewhere between three to five minutes. And once you do that, you put it aside, okay? So in essence, you're going to crack four eggs. You can put a little bit of salt if you want to, but you're going to battle them well together. Medium heat, maybe a notch above medium. Let me put a little bit more butter. You want this butter melting well? It's about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Make sure it melts. Add your egg. Medium heat. Let it stabilize for about a minute, maybe 30 seconds. This is a half. So in one half of the thing, you're going to add Yeah, 
few peppers, onions, ham, so you cover in one half, because you're going to be folding this pretty soon by the way, so one half is going this way. You're going to do because now it's getting almost there. You're going to add a little bit of your macro greens. These are broccoli. Look at this beauty, huh? Just put a little bit there. See how beautiful it's looking. And what you're going to do, you're going to fold when it's almost ready to fold. You're going to fold it on this, by the way. No, yeah, there because it's still cooking. So let it cook for a little bit longer until it's ready to fall. If it's too liquid and too runny, wait a little bit longer. Not too long, it can be a little bit, you know. And now you're going to fold this baby. And I'm going to let it cook for about two minutes like that. Some people like to cook it before it's full. You know, like to cover it. That's fine too. But I like to cover it first because it's more flexible. It's less rigid. So when you cover it, first, you're able to fold it easier. Then you cover it so the steam of the heat go back down and this egg is cooked and doing it for like two, maybe three minutes. That's simple. Look at this beauty, but you're not done yet. Now it's time to add a little bit of that cheese. This is goat cheese that I'm adding. It's crumble. You put a little bit there. Get the cheese rolling. And the goat cheese tend to be milky. So it's going to give it a nice like the nice uh, texture and flavor. You can go with feta cheese too, if you want a little bit more solid. And uh, maybe with that salty little taste that feta cheese has, then you come and you're going to add a little bit of your greens, macro greens, huh? Here we have it. See how easy?